once you get started in your detailing, you're probably going to progress into the world of paint correction. And there's one thing that's far more important than what compounds you choose. It's more important than what pads you choose. It's more important than whether you go for a rotary, a dual action polisher like this one, or something like the new Virtual Force Drive polisher. And that is something really, really simple. You're going to need a light source to see the paint defects that you're working with. And that's what we're going to cover today. So, like I say, when you get into your paint correcting, the thing you're going to need before you've even got your machine polisher, your pads, your combination of that, the most important thing you're going to need first off is going to be your reliable light source. And what I mean by reliable light source is something which doesn't change. So, you can look at paintwork in the sun, but when the sun's higher in the sky, lower in the sky, it's a different time of year. It's like it is now where it's getting to winter. You can't see as many paint defects as you would be able to in summer or when the sun is shining. Um, it's also going to affect it if you've got things like holograms and things like that. You'll see holograms in certain lights where the light is reflecting at the panel at an angle, but you won't always see that on an overcast day you'll you'll see a black car it'll look perfect whereas if you see that black car on a sunny day it can look horrendous because of all the um, rds random deep scratches your swirls all your things like that your holograms which will show up in the sun but won't show up on a cloudy day and that's why when you're doing your paint correcting you do need something which gives off a better quality of light so that you can control and see exactly where the paint defects are it's just something else that you're going to need in your toolbox. Now, I bought this one from Amazon and I'm going to put a link in the description. It's not a specific um, product that was recommended to me. It's basically, I went on a search for a decent swirl finding torch and I had a look and I know that Roops do a swirl finder torch and you can also get a couple of other different ones but the prices of them were really high and it wasn't something that I wanted to, to go into paying. Um, I also had a look and Flex do a torch as well, which is very similar in look to this torch. So whether it's the same type of product, I can't say, and I wouldn't 100% say that their product ex is exactly the same. And that's not what I'm saying. What I did was I then found the LED lenser, I think that's right. And that was a decent looking product it came with a Cree LED once again. Um, however, I was about to go out that morning and pick one up because you can actually get them from shops in the UK, which is unusual for a lot of these types of things because generally you can't. Um, it was about 30, 30 something pounds, maybe 40 pounds. And I had a stop and a think and thought, well, if I have a search on Amazon for a Cree torch, is there anything that's going to come up that will be an equivalent to it? And this came up, it's um, a Cree LED, it's an aluminium housing, and it's decent enough build quality. You see, the thing is with a lot of like the more expensive torches, like the LED lenser or something like that, they really are good quality, but that's down to the build quality and it's down to the fact that they are probably more waterproof and the fact that they will probably last a lot longer and if you throw them off a cliff they'll probably work whereas this may not can't promise don't know i've got a cliff nearby but what the thing is is it comes down to i'm only going to be using this to inspect paintwork and i'm not using it to save my life so i don't see the point in paying the extra for a product that is probably engineered really well. And don't get me wrong, there is a massive difference in these things. This is just a cheap um, Cree LED torch from Amazon, and it's probably not the build quality of the others, but for what we need it for, it really does work. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you now a couple of examples of what this will do when inspecting paintwork compared to this mag light so you're going to now see how much difference this will make compared to this and we'll come back in a minute and sum up this is the ice fire torch it uses a cree xml t6 led producing around 2000 lumens 
The body is made from a sturdy aluminium alloy and it has a rubber o-ring in the battery compartment to reduce water ingress. The Maglite AA produces around 14 lumens using an incandescent bulb. It has a beam width adjustment and is made from a very sturdy aluminium construction. Next, we're going to show you the difference between the two torches on different colours and shades of paintwork. Here you can see how the Maglite performs at showing the paint defect on this black Audi paintwork before any paint correction has taken place. Although we can see the defects with the Maglite, once we switch to the ice fire, we can clearly see the difference that the LED bulb makes. We can clearly see the paint defect and we get a true idea of what we are working with. This is the same Audi paint part way through paint correction. Using the ice fire, we can clearly see the majority of the defects have been removed, but some do still remain. Using the standard Maglite torch, although we are able to see some of the defects, the panel looks a lot better than it really is. The side by side comparison shows how much more efficient the LED is at highlighting the paint defects. Now onto the Ferrari paintwork. The LED torch makes it easy to see the paint defects that need to be worked on and easily highlight the imperfections that are really difficult to be seen with the incandescent torch. Even adjusting the beam doesn't really help. The side by side comparison once again shows the power of the LED torch. This is where the LED really comes into its own. This is an area of paintwork on the Ferrari that has been sanded and not correctly buffed out. The LED torch shows this area without a problem and highlights the swirls and scratches. On the grey mini paintwork it's hard to film both torches but here you can see the LED is highlighting the swirls in the paintwork. With the standard torch although you can see the defect it's not as clear as with the power of the LED. Okay, so what you can see is that using the um, torch with the Cree LED makes a massive difference over the standard sort of halogen bulb. And it means that you've got a larger light source, you can see all of your paint defects really easily. So this is definitely something that you're going to want to use and you need to get in your toolbox to start your paint correction so that you can see the defects that you've got, see what you need to correct, and just basically, it just gives you that full starting point to see where you need to begin, and then when you've started and you're working through your paint correction, you can see and check that you have corrected the panel properly and removed as many of the defects as you can. Now, that's what I would say. A um, couple of other things are, you've got a couple of different modes, obviously. You've got an adjustable beam, so you can zoom in and out, and that makes it a larger or smaller um, beam, so that you can you know, focus into what part of a car you are correcting. But I do recommend this product. It's really, really good. It's serving me really well. It works in daylight. It better when it's sort of overcast and you get a lot better you can see a lot more but obviously if it's sunny and you've got any torch on it doesn't really work too well but once your day goes a bit more dull this thing is absolutely fantastic for finding any types of defects in paint and it's always better to do i find your paint correction when it's a little bit more of a darker day that way you can use your light source to easily find your paint defect rather than struggling in the bright sun where you can't see it and that's taking into account you know your polish is going dry and all that we're not discussing that at the moment we're just discussing using this which is an easier to use light source so i fully recommend that you do get something like this this was about just under £10 from um, Amazon and it came next day prime delivery. I dare say if you buy one direct from China you can probably get it a little bit cheaper or if you don't have the prime delivery you can probably get it a little bit cheaper on that. Uh, it takes three AAA batteries and I've got it running at the moment with some of the Sanyo Eneloop batteries. 
Uh, I think they're now Panasonic, but they were. And they are absolutely fantastic because they hold a lot of charge. We've been using those since the days when we used to use them in the camera flashes. And they hold a lot of charge in high current devices. So things like this, they are perfect for, and you get yourself a one hour battery charger and you're ready to go. It will also take one of the um, larger rechargeable batteries. I've not got the paperwork in front of me. I think it's an 1860 battery or something like that. I'll put it on screen. And you can also put one of those in if you've got a charger for them. I haven't. I didn't want to buy a new charger because I've already got them. Um, but I do believe it's the same type of charger that and battery that a lot of e-cigarettes use. I'm not quite up on that type of thing, but you may know more than me on that. Now, if there's any products that you know of that are a bit better for budget detailers, or if you've got something like this that you wanna share with uh, the group, if you wanna leave it in the comments below, if there's anything else that you wanna know, just leave it there as well, and we'll try and answer as many questions as we can. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.